Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to build a website for zero dollars, and I mean zero dollars. No Shopify, no Wix, no WooCommerce, no trials, no contracts. It's just you, your products, and a website. This is a full step-by-step -step tutorial for dropshippers, e-commerce store owners, creators to sell their merch, and even Aunt Judy, who wants to sell her handmade cat sweaters. Yeah, it's for everybody. The site I'm gonna show you today doesn't require you to put any credit card information, no technical skills required, and you will leave this video today with the best website you can have for free. Yeah, I think it's time to hit that like button. Before we hop into the video and teach you how you can build a website for free, I need to mention this. This is not a brand deal. I'm just here to share information with you to show you exactly how you can have a website for free. This is the only way that you can do it. My name is Kyle Plummer and I am a multi seven figure online business owner for over six years. Now I wanna make this clear. If you are someone that can spare an extra 30 to $50 a month, I highly recommend that you go over and you use a store builder like Shopify. If that's you, go check out this video that I made recently about how to build a badass Shopify store step by step. But if you were just testing the waters and you don't want to cough up any money, this is the perfect video for you. I'm going to be using a platform called Big Cartel where you can start a website and import up to five products without entering in any credit card information. Enough with the chit chat, let's jump in. All right, so here we are. This is going to be an example website. We got Road Dog here. And as you can see, it's a very, very simple website. They can display their products. You know, if I click in here, <clears throat> we'll go to the product page. And like I said, this isn't going to be uh, a super, you know, flashy website. This is somebody that is starting with a lower budget, wants to test an idea. Maybe you've got an Etsy shop. Maybe you are a, a creator that you're trying to sell merch. Um, this is going to be a very simple solution to that. So you can pick different options, add to cart, um, you know, all that great stuff. But like I said, you got your socials down here. So let's go ahead and just drop, you know, jump right in and you'll come to bigcartel.com. And like I said, you're not going to need to enter in any credit card information. You're not going to need to be on a trial. This is going to be entirely free. You're just going to fill out a little bit of information. So all we have to do is hit open your store down here. And on the left side, you're gonna see what you're getting. You know, you're basically getting, um, you're, you're able to create a site like this, it's kind of at the end of the day, um, but you can do it up to five products, okay? So if you have more than five products, you will have to pay, you know, a little bit more, but chances are you don't have more than five. So we'll go ahead, just jump right in, sign up for free. And like I said, it's gonna make me fill out a bit of information. So I might have to censor this out, we'll see. I'm gonna say support at, going to be a site that I use um, in a bunch of videos. We'll just say Hydro Clean Official. Okay, Shopify URL is available. Hit sign up. And it's going to open us up the dashboard. And, and this is going to be a super simple layout. There's not too many things that you have to pay attention to. But I'll kind of point some stuff out as we go through. At the top, we're just on our main dashboard here. You've got your orders, you've got your products, and then you can do discount codes. We'll kind of talk a little bit about that as well. And then your account. At the bottom, you'll have your analytics, you know, traffic, you'll have your orders, conversion percentage, revenue, all that great stuff. I will point out that you can get a, uh, an application on your phone that you can download, keep track of everything. That might be a better way for you to do it if you want that, just to let you know it's available. And you'll want to come in here and just fill out some basic information, add your location in here, um, this is just going to help just for tax purposes and just legitimacy of the store. I highly recommend that you come through and set this up and, and do the best that you can. Um, the one thing I'll say while we're over here is your store is going to be on maintenance mode. Okay. So if I came to the site, it's going to have that big, you know, sign that says, you know, shop under maintenance, come back in what, you know, whatever time frame. So if you want to have your store open, just make sure that this is unchecked. Okay. It's going to ask you to fill in um, your shop's location. I'm not going to walk through that. Just know that that's something you need to do before you actually start driving traffic to the website. You know, this thing keeps popping up. Um, but yeah, you can add in your location. And then, you know, <clears throat> the next thing you want to do is actually fill out your processors. So if you set up your uh, payment options, there's going to be two different options you got. You got your Stripe account. And that'll take you just a couple minutes to, to fill out. And this is actually going to be how people check out on your website. And then the other, the other payment processor is going to be PayPal. 
So fill those out. Again, that's gonna just take you about five to 10 minutes to put, um, put together, but you cannot accept any sort of um, transactions on your website until that's done. Very important. And we'll come back. And let's go back to the dashboard here. Okay, so what we need to do next is go down to design your shop. And I'm gonna walk you through how to make this in about five to 10 minutes. Super simple website. You'll notice you've got um, different templates here. So we'll actually click on design. And I'm gonna show you the one that I would pick if I was just building, you know, just kind of a general site. We're gonna go over here. So it's automatically go to settings. We'll come to themes. And you can see the different options you've got here. But if we scroll all the way down, we'll go to neat and then just hit use theme. We'll hit okay. It'll take a second for that to populate. And then once it does, we'll come back up here to settings. And then there's a bunch of things you can do here, okay? So you can upload a logo. So we'll go ahead and upload that logo quick. Put that in there. And then the slideshow is going to be this little banner image down here. And what I like to do, I don't like to have a slideshow of it you know, sifting through different pictures. What I wanna do is actually just have one image in there. So I'll hit select to drop, um, <clears throat> select to drop the image in, and then let's go ahead and just pick something. I'm gonna do this one just because it shows the product, it's a real person. It's kind of inviting as soon as someone comes to the website. We'll let that populate. And that's gonna fill up this whole space back here. So that doesn't look too bad. And then what we'll do next is you can come down here you can change your colors, you know, for the background, headers, links, you know, buttons, all sorts of stuff. We won't mess around with that too much right now. What I want to do is change the welcome header. So this will show up here. It'll be the first thing that people see the message that they're greeted with. Um, so I'll say something like, you know, number one shower head on the market. That will populate. So as you can see like that, actually let's move this down here. Let's make this the subheader. So say number one shower in the market. And then for the welcome header, I can say something like, um, no more low water pressure. No more low water pressure, cool. So that's starting to come together. And then the shop now button appeared as well. And then, if you want to have some sort of announcement bar at top, you know, usually what I do is I'll put in something like free shipping on all orders today only. And then that'll populate at the very top. And you can put anything else up there you like, like 50% off on all, all orders today. But yeah, something, some main thing that's going on, just a, a really, um, you know, big piece of information that's going to allow them to want to convert that day. I uh, create some urgency for them and then we'll keep going down you can you know select the number of navigation items up here yeah, let's see yeah products per page select the amount of products you have i'm only gonna have one for this this site so i'll select one featured product order you can change the thumbnails and then as you can see you can enter in different you know social profiles so for instance if i wanted to do Say that that is your, your Twitter, pop that in, and that'll be at the very bottom down here. So you, you kind of populate all those in down there. The next thing we can do is go to our pages. So if we click here, we're gonna add new page, and this can be an FAQ, this can be information about your shipping, this can be an about us, but we'll just do like an FAQ section. So we'll say FAQ, and then just say, you know, question, Number one, Oops. Q. question number two, and then <clears throat> all we have to do is hit done up here, and then that'll be in there. And you'll notice this automatically comes up in the navigation. If we want to add another page, let's say we want to add our shipping, let's say something like um, processing takes you know three to five days then order ships to your doorstep in five to seven seven 
business days. Cool, and we'll hit done. And that'll come up here as well. So super easy, super simple. Let's go back to settings. Let's see if I missed anything. Yeah, and you can, you can change your font. You know, the font that I would like to use, that's just, I think looks good and it's not, you know, crazy, crazy. Use Roboto. And then I'll change that for the text as well. Roboto. Okay. And the one thing I will note too as well is it'll tell you what page you're on. So if you want to, so right now I'm viewing the shipping page. If you want to go back to the home, just click this, it'll go back. And then the really important thing is I'm not exactly sure where you're going to drive traffic from, but like if it's a social media page, 90 to 95% of your traffic is going to come from mobile. So if you come here, you can drop down to the different devices. I always like to optimize for mobile. So I, I create my site in a desktop version and then I'll switch to mobile and just make sure everything looks good. And then that way, you know, I'm all set for, like I said, 90 to 95% of my traffic. But what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to, I'm just going to exit this and we're going to add a product in. If you come back up here to the top where it says products, this is super easy to do. We'll hit add product and then we'll add an image in and add this guy. And you can add multiple in. I'm just gonna have one just for the purpose of this video. We'll say product name, we'll say hydro clean shower head. Description, I'll say convincing description just to put something in there for you. But obviously you wanna take some time in filling that out as well. You can add it to different categories. You can change the status, like if it's coming soon or if it's sold out. So I can say, you know, this isn't available yet, but just kind of a, you know, a little teaser, as I would say. So coming soon, sold out. We'll keep it at active. And then you can add in different variants, you know, like let's say it's a diff there's different sizing or there's different colors. We've got a red and, um, sorry, I did not set my, sorry, I need to set my price first. Just wondering why that didn't pop in. So I'll set my price and then you can, you know, click on sale if it's on sale. And that'll be just displayed as, you know, $39.99 with the word on sale next to it. So, um, sorry, back to uh, the variants down here. We've got the red and then we can add in, let's say we got blue as well. We've got just two options. And then the next thing we want to do is to add in our shipping. So, um, if you're only shipping to United States, I would definitely clarify that. So we'll say that we're shipping to United States and I'm going to charge $4.99 for that. And you can add in different locations. Like if you do international shipping, you know, different options, this will be something that they can, they can check out as they're, as they're, um, you know, going through the process of buying it, not worried about the tax code. That's all we need to add the product in. We'll hit save, but let's go ahead and go back to our site. Now that we have that product in. Okay. And now it's going to be down here in the bottom. Okay. So what we can do is let's go ahead and just click in here and you can see what the product page actually looks like. Again, I'd like to pref I prefer to look at this in mobile. So someone comes to here, they click through, they come here, HydroClean Showerhead, 40 bucks on sale. Very good. You can have your different images if you want to, and then, you know, pick your option and just hit add a cart and you're off on your way. The other thing I'd like to do is I like to, you know, change some things in terms of the coloring. I don't want to have just a black and white, make things pop out, especially your, especially your buttons. So we'll say button backgrounds, we'll change this to blue. And obviously if I have a logo with a specific color scheme, I'd match this up, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just try to get this close and that should come in, in just a second. Boom. Add to cart. You've now officially built an online business for zero dollars. What I recommend doing next is check out this video I mentioned earlier about how to build a Shopify store step by step. This is ultimately going to be the best platform for you when you have a little bit more spare change. Drop a like on the video, comment any questions below. And as I always say, until next time, peace.